Mary Lou's been there. She's the reason for all of this. She brought a hive back from Slovenia, and I took one look at it and said, that's my future. <laughs> and because I have a little bit of woodworking skill, I took it upon myself to try to make one, and I did. The one that has the little um, yeah, anime like face on it was the first one that we built and Kylie decorated. And then we made a couple more, and we got a little better at it. And then we ended up making a batch, I think, of about 10 of them or some, 12 of them. We made made 10 of them. The two white ones were among the first two, and then we made some more, and Mary Lou had some originally of, that were of that design. And I ran into a problem initially um, in that the foundation wouldn't fit. The Slovenian frame is a different size. It's, it's, it's taller this way by about an inch, and it's shorter this way by about two inches. So the area is roughly the same, but that's just the way it is. So the first annoying thing I found was that you had to cut two inches of, off the foundation to put it in the frame, and you had to put little blocks to make it hold in there. The second problem that I found was that when I went to buy an extractor, a guy had a beautiful Data Amp 12 frame extractor, and I went to buy that. He wanted 200 bucks for it, and I thought, this is just steel. I need this thing like bad. And I went over there and I took a couple of those bigger frames with me, and he was able to drop 12 Langster frames into that extractor, and I could get three of the AC frames because they hit together. They're just tall enough where they, the way it's laid out in a small basket, they, they hit together. You can't get but one in each place where you would normally be able to get four. Well, that, that annoyed me to the point where I just went back and rolled up my sleeves and said, I'm gonna change this, I'm gonna fix it. So I made, I kept the, the, the design of the AC frame and the hive, but I changed the frame size and then changed the hive around it, built the hive around it to maintain your bee space everywhere, which is what you have to do when you build a hive of any kind. Because if you leave bigger, they burr it up. If you make it small, they propolize it. So we changed the size of the frame, we changed the size of the hive, and that's where the name, the Drebbyville Hive, came from. Our name is Drebber. Everybody calls me Dreb for short. And the little girl that lives next door, her friend Maggie, would call me Drebby. And if she was coming over to visit, she was going to Drebbyville. So when we decided to, we were started by just bottling honey and we wanted to come up with a name to put on the bottle, so we came up with Drebbyville Hives. We had no idea six years ago that we were gonna actually be making Drebbyville Hives. It was just, you know, it was serendipity or something that we came up with a name that we didn't have to change. And so um, we, we knew that, that this is uh, definitely something that needs to, and, and it has uh, kind of expanded a little bit more since, uh, Mary Lou brought up the hive that this was going to be big in America someday. And we just needed to be the people who uh, started producing them here. We have somebody in New England who's importing them straight from uh, Slovenia, but it still has the size. Yeah, that's the odd size be. frame. So you have to get, you have to import an extractor, you have to import all this equipment, you have to get, you know, try to figure out how you're going to put your foundation in. So um, really the way that we wanted to progress was building it for us and building it with our dimensions. Right. So for the American market, basically. Well, 